Oh my god. What is it? What is it? Is it a giant spider? I mean, based on the name Megarachne, you'd think that. Megarachne is the genus, and the only species within said genus is Megarachne cervini. And indeed, originally, this ancient creature, which lived during the Gizhelian, was identified as an ancient gigantic spider the size of your head! Just the biggest spider you've ever seen! Oh my god! It's not, it's not a spider. That's not what it is! But uh, I wouldn't blame you for thinking that, because there's been some misinformation about this animal. Though not intentional misinformation, to be fair. This creature was originally described back in 1980 by the Argentine paleontologist Mario Hunican. He's the one that named it, and he is the one who described it as a spider. In his defense, he was looking at somewhat incomplete remains, but looking at it, you could see why he thought this animal was probably a spider. A very large, very, very large spider. But arachnologists who wound up looking at the fossil later doubted this opinion. Which Unikin himself admitted that there were discrepancies with the spider identification because this animal had features that actually didn't apply to spiders. For example, there was some cuticular ornamentation, the carapace being divided into frontal and rear parts by a suture, as well as spatulate chelicerae. Even Hunnikin himself noticed that because there are no spiders that are known to exist that have that particular feature at all. So, um, if it's not a spider, what, uh, what is it? Well, for a while, no one took a real solid second look at the thing because the holotype specimen was deposited in a bank vault and just kind of left there. Other paleontologists who were examining it only had access to plaster casts of it, which weren't quite as good as the original for obvious reasons. But much later in 2005, a second and more complete example of this animal was discovered, and paleontologists and arachnologists were finally able to figure out exactly what they were looking at. In Hunnikin's defense, he wasn't trying to deceive anybody, he was just misidentifying the creature, and as I mentioned, he admitted that there were some key features of the animal that didn't really make sense for a spider, it's just the best guess he had. And his guess wasn't that far off. His animal wasn't a spider. What it was, was a sea scorpion! Which are closely related to spiders, as are modern-day scorpions. They're both arachnids. Indeed, Megarachne is, in fact, a Eurypterid, which are known as sea scorpions. They would have bubbled around under the ocean and ate stuff. That's, that's what sea scorpions did. And yes, despite not actually being a spider, they were still fairly large. <laughs> if you're not a fan of creepy crawlies, like, yeah, that's, that's a, that's, that, that's a nope. That's, that, that is a nope. Personally, I like spiders and scorpions, but even I'm looking at that like, oh, that's, it looks like a face hugger from Alien. No. But where does all the misinformation come from? I mean, yes, we had a misidentification, sure, but now we know. Shouldn't everyone fully understand that Megarachne is not a spider? Well, other than the fact that it's still called Megarachne, because, you know, Hunnikin still gets naming rights, and Megarachne quite literally translates to Great Spider, which can throw people off. Now, the other problem has to do with, uh, well, walking with monsters. A 2005 British documentary, partially related to walking with dinosaurs, but does not focus on dinosaurs and focuses on animals that existed prior to them. It's a pretty good documentary series. However, Megarachne, back when they thought it was a spider, was slated to appear in the show. They designed the creature as a giant tarantula-like spider hunting a large reptile in the area, Petrolocosaurus. The problem is that in the middle of production, further data on the animal was discovered by paleontologists and they realized, hey, uh, this isn't a spider. And the production team was like, oh, crap, because it already blown a whole bunch of money making it a spider. They they'd already filmed all the scenes, like, like they did the effects and everything. Like, this is, what were they going to do? Well, they, they left 
left it all in, but they just kind of weaseled around it by not calling it Megarachne. Instead, they call it Mesothele, which is not actually a direct species or even a genus of any spider. It's a suborder of spiders, which does exist, and that's what they went with to try to get around the problem, because I guess they were hoping that, okay, maybe eventually someday they'll actually find a spider that existed back then that was super big and we'll get away with this. So far, as far as I know, that hasn't happened. And calling it Mesothele is a little questionable, because that only do the current spiders that belong to that suborder not actually look like tarantulas, like the portrayal does in the show, but also every single one of them is way friggin' smaller, even the prehistoric ones. So, this animal would be an odd one out, and it doesn't really make sense to call it Mesothele, it was probably just the best thing they had, because they didn't want to get rid of those scenes, so yeah, that's, that's not right, but it really wasn't their fault, they were just going with what, you know, the understanding of the animal was. And then paleontologists had to come in and be like, wait, that's not right. And the production team is like, wow, could have told us that last year before we started filming. Thanks for that, guys. So it's one of those things. Again, not intentional deception, just, just not wanting to waste a whole bunch of money featuring a giant spider in your prehistoric documentary they were like there's got there's got to be at some point a giant spider back then right i mean that makes sense right they were giant everything else why not a giant spider so all right fair enough we're still looking for that giant spider though <laughs> and with that a special thank you goes out to my apex predators arthur roy metal for life guy and anti raven till next time this is Darkness, and I bid you all a fond farewell.